Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel and welcome to all new viewers. My name is Olka and I'm a UK-based vet and today I'd like to help you answer the question Should I let my cat go outside? Before I get to it, please like, subscribe and ring that bell if you enjoy my content. It really helps. Okay, so have you already got a cat? Or planning to get one and thinking about the logistics now? One of the big decisions to make as a cat owner is whether your cat will be an indoor or an outdoor pet. Let's dive in and try to make a little pros and cons list. Let's start with the good stuff. Okay, so entertainment. Obviously, the more var variety in your cat's environment, the more stimulated it will be. Being confined in a small space all the time with very little change can be boring and frustrating. Going outside offers countless opportunities for your adventurous cat to play, explore new sights and smells, experience different textures and learn. If your cat goes outside, it will be able to display its natural behavior freely. Suppressing these can lead to stress and frustration. Your cat will be monitoring its territory, scratching, climbing and much more. Some believe cats which live exclusively indoors are more prone to destroying your furniture, carpets, etc. Okay, the next one is exercise. The more time your cat spends outside, the more chance it gets some exercise. In our modern society, obesity in our pets is more common than ever. In fact, over a third of cats in the UK are overweight. Regular physical activity helps battle that issue. So what's the bad stuff then? Obviously, your cat can encounter a lot of dangerous situations outside. One of the scariest is the chance of a road traffic accident. Cats getting seriously injured or being killed by cars is extremely common. In a study from 2001, researchers found that 51% of outdoor access cats that died suddenly and unexpectedly died as a result of road traffic accidents. Another study from the same year discovered that road traffic accidents were the fourth most common cause of death for cats after old age, cancer and renal failure. Interestingly, the older the cat, the less likely it is to get hit by a car. Your cat can get into fights with other animals, most commonly other cats and dogs. These can result in injuries or even death. Most common reason for fights between cats is defending what they believe to be their territory. In 2013, Cats Protection logged that 32 cats were reported killed by dogs within a four-month period, but they say this number is likely underreported anyways. Frequently forgotten dangerous factor would be various plants, toxins, poisons your pet can encounter whilst outdoors. You should research types of plants around your garden and in close neighborhood and make sure that by munching on them your cat won't get poorly. Ask neighbors what chemicals they might use in their yard as well. Cats which frequently go outside can have multiple families taking care of them without their primary owner even knowing. Friendly neighbor might have no idea that the cat they've been feeding for the last few weeks isn't homeless. Chances are they will think the cat needs a home and will claim him as their own. Make sure you always microchip your pets. Making your neighbors aware of the fact you've got a cat and it does go outside might not be, might not be a bad idea either. A similar situation happened to our family cat when I was a child. We let him go outside and then he disappeared for days. After a week or so, we found out that a different family in a neighboring block of flats took him in. Of course, we got him back. If your cat goes outside, it might get in contact with certain infectious diseases, which can be serious or even lethal. Make sure your cat is vaccinated. Remember though, there are some diseases which we don't have vaccines against yet. Picking stuff up and chewing on them can infest your pet with worms, so make sure you follow your vet's advice regarding frequency of deworming protocols. External parasites like fleas, mites or ticks are more common in outdoor cats too. Many studies have shown that domestic cats' activity has a big impact on wildlife population, especially birds and small mammals. They kill millions to billions of animals every year. Many studies were conducted and proved this. Food for thought there, I guess. 
If for some reason you decided against neutering your cat, chances are they will either get pregnant if you've got a queen, or cause a pregnancy if you've got a tomcat. It is a serious problem. If you've got an entire, which means a cat which wasn't spayed or castrated, I would always advise to keep them indoors to help control feral cats' population. Getting lost. With healthy adult cats which know their outdoor environment, it doesn't happen often. However, if you've just moved the house, your cat is very young or physically not well, there is a chance of them not finding their way back home. Your cat might encounter aggression from people. It is very upsetting to know that some people are simply cruel to animals. But there is a risk your cat may, be, may get kicked, may get rocks thrown at him, or worse. Ultimately, every cat has its own personality. Some cats truly prefer to stay indoors and are not interested in exploring the outdoor environment. Some might even be scared. I wouldn't force them. Some cats enjoy going outside a lot. If you adopted a cat which was used to spending a lot of time outdoors, they might get really stressed if you try and keep them in the house exclusively. Stress and frustration in cats can result in poor physical health too. Very commonly, urinary tract problems. I couldn't find any reliable studies about the number of indoor versus outdoor cats. However, most sources and anecdotal data mentions that an estimated 88% to 92% of British cats have free access to outdoors. This number would align with my experience working with animals and their owners. It is much different in other countries around the world, with USA, for example, having more indoor than outdoor cats. To sum up, the answer to our initial question is complex and, in my opinion, should be approached individually on a case-by-case -case basis. Consider all the factors and your cat's personality and needs. Whatever the decision, there are certain advantages and disadvantages to both. And lastly, thank you for watching, like, subscribe and I hope I'll see you here again soon. Bye!